here we go. We're back with another absolutely killer Dale Wilson strap. This one's hiding a little bit of a secret. I'm not gonna tell you about it just yet. I'm gonna make you suffer, suffer and listen to a little bit more. But let me give you a few of the other specs. So the designation for this one is just 50 strap. So a 50s inspired strap. It's got a really nice V-shaped neck profile. And as you can see, it's got this really killer figured flame maple neck as well. So the actual profile for this neck shape is a 57 soft V profile. It has a 9.5 inch radius and vintage upgrade frets. So they are just slightly taller, slightly wider than your average vintage fret wire, but it's very much in the kind of the vintage ballpark. So if you're one of those players out there that doesn't like those huge railroad 6100 jumbo frets, this guitar's got a real nice kind of vintage vibe to it and it just feels great for chords, great for lead playing, and uh, yeah, it just feels absolutely killer. So the pickups on this one are a hand-wound set of Fat 50s by Josefina. So we've heard some kind of cleany-ish, sort of vibey, Hendrixy kind of delayed tones there at the start. So um, I'll just go into my usual ballpark of punchy kind of strap tones. So let's just go for a few different settings there. So I'm just going to start out basically just the pure tone from the amp. So what I'm actually using today is a two rock classic reverb signature. I know everyone always asks and I always forget to say. So it's out of the way there now. As you can hear there, it's got a real good balance between those kind of nice twangy sounds on the bridge. To a real nice fullness on this neck pickup. And those in-between tones are just super sweet and glassy. Let's try a bit of vibe on that sort of tone. I'm just going to try the, the bridge in the middle for that kind of sound as well now. Lovely. Just got everything you can kind of want out of the strap. It's got a real kind of perfect blend of the top end being nice and shimmery, but it's really kind of nice and present, but just isn't too harsh. And the low end, when you really dig in, can kind of just start to give up a little, but it's just right on the edge of being kind of full before it comes, you know, too overpowering. It just sounds great, you know. It's hard to get really kind of full sounds, I find sometimes, out of a maple neck guitar like this, but it's just really fun, inspiring guitar to play. Right, 
Right, what I'm going to do now is I'll just turn on the blues power from King Tone. Just got that set with just a kind of a, a little bit of drive and just more of a volume boost just to kick up the front end. So let's hear how that's going to sound. <laughs> here there it's just pushing the front end of the two rock just nicely <laughs> Of course it has got a tone control there for the bridge pickup so you can get kind of a fuller sound out of that bridge. So this is with it on uh, the tone on full for the bridge there. So if you just want to fatten that up now, just roll that back to about five or six. That sounds great because then when you go to the neck pickup, it sounds strattier than ever. Nice, but I like what it does when you roll that tone back, just for kind of open chordy sort of stuff for the uh, for the bridge pickup as well. Just going to switch in a little bit of fuzz to finish with and then I might even turn the blues power on as well at the same time. So well I better tell you what the big secret was after all of that. So this guitar actually has a spruce body. So yeah spruce like what we see on acoustic guitar tops. This is the first Strat I've ever played at, with a spruce body and I think it's probably the only one we've ever had in stock with a spruce body. Tone wise when I was checking out some guitars earlier, I kind of, I feel like it sits somewhere a little bit between an ash and an alder body. So it's got kind of a little bit more sparkle than some alder bodies, but not quite as kind of tinny or pingy sounding as some ash guitars can be when you really kind of crank it up. So I think we're definitely going to be ordering some more guitars like this, but um, yeah, I'm just going to play you out with a little bit of fuzz and then maybe switching that blues power, like I said, might even put a little bit of delay on. Why don't we do that? Right, fuzz.
there we have it. As always, thanks for watching. If you want the full specs on this guitar, please head on over to peachguitars.com or even better, download the app today. Cheers. <laughs>